Whew, gotta make a make sure I look good for these things. That ain't it. Okay, look just like I did when I worked in the field. Rough, less dirty, but still rough. We're looking at a set of gauges that I've talked about a lot of times on both the audio podcast and the YouTube channel. This is the P51-870 Titan Digital Manifold from Yellow Jacket. You guys have watched me for several years. I came from doing service calls all the way up to doing this podcast, and you see me use a lot of Yellow Jacket tools. Well, this is their latest and greatest set of digital gauges. They're touchscreen. They have a big display, which you can sort of see. We can zoom in on it. And basically, they're the Cadillac of their digital gauge line at the present time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of unbox these, so to speak, take them out of the bag here because this bag comes with each set. They come with a set of hoses. So we're going to take a look and see what the P51s come with and then kind of go through some of the first impressions of the product. This is the P51-870 Titan Digital Manifold. You can see it runs down through a variety of different features they have. Color touchscreen display, data logging, man tooth app capable, we'll take a look at that too. Rechargeable battery, Bluetooth, two year warranty, high and low side pressures and temperatures, saturation and vapor temperatures, vacuum and pressure hold tests, superheat and subcool, and the vacuum sensor is included. We have the bag itself, you can see a handle here on the top. We have an inner zipper right here. We close this, there's a pocket here on the outside, of course made by Yellow Jacket. And let's not forget that Yellow Jacket is a made in America product as well. We have a little door down here which takes you into the actual compartment where you can keep the hoses, which we can go ahead and bring out now. So you get a full set of Yellow Jacket hoses. These hoses are 60 inches plus two refrigerant charging hoses. Nothing special about the hoses. They don't have low loss fittings or anything like that. No ball valves, just your standard set of hoses. It also comes with this 3 8 vacuum hose. You can see it says charging hose. This is meant to go between your vacuum pump and the vacuum port on the manifold. Spinning around, you can see that there are pockets on the sides. These would be something like you put your meters in. There are a couple little pockets on the inside of these as well. Zip up. You can use it as a backpack. It is padded on the back. There's clasps on either side so you can change the shoulder strap from one side to the other. If you spin around, there is another pocket on the other side, a mesh pocket, and another similar pocket you can put a meter in or other tools and some slots to put some hand tools. So a decent size service bag. You could just carry your gauges and stuff in it, maybe accessories for your gauges. I don't see this as a primary service bag, not if you're gonna leave your gauges in it because the gauges take up so much room along with the hoses. You wouldn't be able to fit what I would carry on a service call, which is relative. And if you're a minimalist, you're probably not gonna take your gauges out there. But it is a nice bag to put your gauges in. If you had to take them out to the call, you could put your ball valves in here or any other temperature measuring accessories for the return or supply air on the sides or your multimeter, a couple nut drivers. But let's talk a little bit more about the gauges themselves. Let's go ahead and take these out of the box here. I'm gonna try to preserve the box as much as I can because we're actually gonna give these away in the upcoming weeks. So make sure you're looking forward to that. It's gonna be one heck of a prize because this thing retails, I think for over $500. Just messing around a little bit with these gauges, we can see a couple different modes here right off the beginning. Pressure temperature, evacuation, pressure hold. You see the light blinks when it's on. Here's the power button. Four port manifold, meaning you do have an evacuation port. You have your yellow hose going to your refrigerant drum. You have your high and low side ports as well on either side. Very nice valves here. Nice play, nice action. Very big, ergonomic, not quarter turn. Just looking at some of the screens right here, pressure holds a test I really like. Pressure hold, we can set this up. We've actually used this on a previous set. We were testing pressure drop on an evaporator coil. We were testing it with nitrogen. That's what this mode's all about. We can get into that a little bit more later. Evacuation, so you have a micron reading. It does have a standalone gauge, which we'll look at in a second. It's not running through the actual manifold itself, which is nice, which is a drawback of some of the other manifolds that have their gauges built in because it's nice to have that micron gauge separate 
than your everyday testing manifold so you don't have all of that gunk contamination in your micron gauge. So there's your evacuation, there's pressure temperature. It does use sort of the old style analog looking gauges right there, but also has a digital readout. And it looks like we're gonna need to zero these. Let's see if we can figure that out real quick. Let's hit the settings button, zero transducers. We push that, exit, and they zeroed out. So that's a pretty easy setup right there. So that's what the screen looks like. It is a touch screen, relatively sensitive, not having any issues there. I had to hit that twice. Let's go, hit that one three times. Let's go back, let's test some of these buttons here. Pressure hold right away, back, evacuation. So pretty good action on it. The, the uh, settings button takes a couple hits there, but that's about it. It is smaller, let's try it again. Yeah, so besides that, all the buttons play pretty easily there. Change refrigerants, there's a whole lot of different refrigerants right there. You can see it goes all the way to R12, R600A, you get your hydrocarbons all the way back down to R11. So let's see if they have blue on. Since we're sponsored by blue one, let's see if they have it on here. R458A. R458A, they do have blue one. So the blue one guys will be happy with that. Turn it off by holding down the power button. Let's flip it over. Two pipe clamps. And I want to reiterate something I said before. These pipe clamps, they are tough. They're very sturdy. It's semi-painful to do this. Some of the ones I used before, the example I'll give is the initial Testo probes because of their Bluetooth sensor, which is, there's no Bluetooth sensor on this, but they weren't strong enough to stay steady on a pipe that was running vertically. They would actually fall down like this, but these do not have that problem. As you can see, it puts a fair amount of pressure on you. Take these two off. Uh, some guys did not like the fact they store on the back. They said it kind of interfered with hanging them on the units, which I can understand. You have to hang them in a different manner because as you can see, the hook is fairly short. So you don't have a whole lot of distance to swing out with the gauges. So you're gonna be angled out or you're gonna just hang it on something else and suspend it like from the little uh, spot where you put a padlock on a disconnect, something like that. Here's where you plug in for your temperature sensors. And then there's a connector here. Let's zoom in on all of these for your USB charging port. There's all your connections, they have nice, looks like they're trying to make them relatively waterproof. And same with the charging port right there, where you'll recharge your gauges. All right, let's look at some of our other settings. It says device settings, zero transducers, calibrate display. So if your touch screen is acting up, you can sort of change the settings there. You can brighten up the display. So you drag it downward like that, all the way up, we'll leave it up. There's a backlight timer, you can change it from 60 seconds. See how high you can go, 10 minutes, down to five seconds. We'll leave it on 60 seconds. Auto off, there's a 15 minute, you can go all the way up to none, all the way down to 15 minutes. Logging rate for the data logging looks like 10 seconds, down to one second, all the way up to 24 hours. So quite a span right there, pretty cool. I think these gauges are pretty sweet. But take it with a grain of salt because I don't work in the field every day anymore. So I don't get to put them through that rigorous testing that you guys do, banging them up against machines, charging. So I want some feedback in the comments from the guys who have used them and have done that. So let's take a look and see what's in the bottom of this package right here. Important setup information. Make sure to read that. Also, they have a quick start guide. Make sure you read stuff like this, guys. I found that when I skip this, I often have questions I'll ask and not realize that most of them are answered by these sort of guides. This is our micron gauge sensor. As you can see, it's a standalone. It does not work through the gauges. It does plug into the gauges. You can see this sort of three and a half millimeter looking plug like you'd have for headphones or Cooper Atkins or something. So it plugs into the gauges, but it doesn't actually have a sensor in the gauges, which I think is pretty good. You have your USB charging cable. And you also have some extensions for your pipe clamps. So if your pipe clamps don't reach, there are some extenders that you can plug in to make them reach. So pretty cool. So that is the P51-870 digital gauges. Very cool gauges, new touch screen. They work with the Mantooth app. We didn't get into the Mantooth app this time, but I'm gonna make another video separately to talk about that. So stay tuned for that coming up really, really soon. 
we're at an interesting time in the trade because there is a direct line between Yellow Jacket and you guys, and that's me. Yellow Jacket is sponsoring this podcast. So if there's anything that you want to see in these gauges, anything you love or hate about the gauges, you can communicate through me to Yellow Jacket. And that is the case with any products that we represent. We want to make sure that you guys give your feedback, negative and positive, to those companies. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, throw a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, put a comment down there, give us some feedback, and we will see you for the next video.